I have a 1996 Mercury 50 horsepower four stroke. I, I believe this was the first year they actually made four strokes like this. The uh, the actual model number is going to be a 50 E L P T as in Tom. And so this is the the motor. So today uh, I'd worked on it yesterday to try to to replace the impeller just to do preventive maintenance. And I couldn't figure out how to disconnect the shift rod. And so after doing research and realizing nobody else had a video like this, I was going to uh, to do it so that way I could show everyone on here. So somebody else maybe don't have to go through the same hassle that I did and headache. So here I got that cow off the engine. Uh, a couple things when it talked about disconnecting of the the rod and I, what I wanted to show folks is that um, the rod on this appears to be one piece all the way top to bottom usually there's two nuts that uh, I'll just show you here on my, my side motor there are usually two nuts that look like this on a lot of these shifting rods and this particular mercury doesn't have that and it's kind of what threw me th for a loop and so with this uh, this plastic cover there's a lot of bolts that go into this and I took this off to show everybody is that there is zero access let me pull under here there's zero access to the shifting rod under here in this particular engine I mean you can barely see it right there but there's no known to the dual nut system which is what what I was figuring it would be and the rod runs all the way up all the way up to the top right here to the shifter up top um, but for this particular model it's it's not like that so what I wanted to show when it comes to the impeller to get remove the lower unit you have these four bolts right here there's there's two gonna be two right here I've already removed the other three this is the last one so we've got two right here and the two on the other side and those are going to be a lot of people say five eighths to remove it but I actually this is a, a millimeter motor and so I, I use 16 millimeter for that. And then I also have to remove the trim tab, which I've already removed. It's the piece that looks like this. And it goes underneath right here. And so with that, I'm gonna trim my engine up and I'll show you. Sorry for the video being so shaky but I already had this apart before I realized and so what you need to do before you remove this is you need to mark this trim tabs in a particular spot so you need to take a marker and you can see my trim tab has the two markers right here these two marks and so I mark that so when I put it back together I know exactly how it was before and that I can put it back exactly the way it was so make sure you do that but for this particular this trim tab you have one bolt right here in the center that where you you will remove it and so when you remove it that bolt is a um, 13 millimeter in size so 13 millimeter remove the trim tab then you have a nut underneath and the nut is going to be a lock washer type nut it's gonna look like this right here at least mine did and so this right here is going to be a 15 millimeter socket so you're gonna need 16 millimeter 15 millimeter and a 13 millimeter to get that done those uh, those are the six bolts you have to remove on the bottom and now we'll get to removing the other connecting bar connecting rod for the gear shift okay uh, so just to access that what I want to show you I removed the left side of this plastic and tossed it over here on the ground so what you got to get into is and this is the front of the engine so sorry I'm close but I'm trying to make sure you get the details of what I'm looking into so there's a little clip right, right there this clip right here and so this little this clip has a little pin on it and there is the top of your shift rod so what you got to do you just got to take this right here flip it up like that right there and then slide it to the left super easy and you can see this pin right here disengaged it just fell out of the shift rod came out of the shift rod and the shift rod fell down now we should be able to take all those five six bolts out of the foot and it, the foot should come right out and the shift rod should slide all the way down so just like I was showing you once you 
lift that clip, slide it to the left, the, the shift rod, it disconnects it right here. And then when you take those, those four bolts right here, take them out and the fifth one back here, the, I mean, it was uh, the lower unit just comes right off with, with no issues. So, and that's what it looks like. So now to remove the water pump, you have uh, these four bolts right here. And so they're gonna be a 10 millimeter to remove those. And then the, the water pump housing will, will slide right off. Okay, so I took those four bolts off and slid my water pump impeller out. This is exactly what it looks like. So, I mean, it's actually, that's in pretty good shape, but since I got it out, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it anyway. Uh, you can see that washer, the little plastic washer is on top of the impeller coming out. And so, and then you can also see there's a, there's the, the detent, don't wanna lose that. And there's another plastic washer underneath of it. So I'm gonna clean all these parts off, put the new one in and put it all back together. There's two different impellers that go in this model. One's a big foot lower unit, and one's a non. I have the, the regular, so it's gonna be the, the thin bladed, uh, the, or the narrow bladed rather, impeller. There's a part number. Um, yeah, and so uh, unfortunately, you don't know what you got until you break into it and you actually pull it out. And it's kind of hard to plan, but that's the one that, that actually goes into it. Okay, I got the, I put the, the new water impeller uh, in just like the old one. Make sure that it uh, that it's turning in the right direction. Make sure you get both those washers in there. And I just cleaned my all my seals. were all in good shape, so I didn't have any issues with that. So I was able to reuse those. Uh, once I did that, I cleaned off all the metal. Make sure I got all the, any kind of corrosion or anything. And I put it back in exactly the way it was with the four bolts. And now you got this. And make sure you just grease those up. And now it's going to go back into the into the lower unit over here or into the rest of the engine. So, uh, just like I took it off, the, the foot slid right back on there. No issues. I put two bolts on it to hold it on while I'm going to go up here. And I just want to show you this and the uh the head of the yeah, let me get this dang wire out of the way here everything's in the way and you can see right there is the the, the little silver that's the the gear shift it just as i slid up there it slid right up in there and there's the little thing that i have to slide in so to get that i'm gonna have to put the camera down because i don't have three hands but what you do for me what i do is take a pair of needle nose pliers and I come in underneath and I will grab that shifting rod like this and I'll lift it up into place so I could slide that retaining bar back to the right and lock it in.